Hi everybody. Welcome to Sensory Storytime with Ophelia, who's in that little condo and stuff. We are in our fort. Um, again, which we love our fort, but because of germs and stuff, we want to practice a responsible behavior. So we have this wonderful divider in the middle that is going to prevent us from seeing each other and also getting germs from each other since we're not wearing masks here because we want you to hear us and see our mouths move. So welcome to Sensory Story Time. Today is the first Sensory Story Time of the fall. Um, we'll be having Sensory Story Times the first Saturdays of every month um, from September to December. So it airs at 10 a.m. Of course, the videos will be available for you to watch anytime that you prefer. Um, today, our focus is on mindfulness. So mindfulness is a word you might have heard. Um, you might have heard if you go to school. You might have heard the word mindfulness. It's a practice that they try to use in schools a lot. Or it might be a new word to you. Mindfulness simply means just to focus on what's happening right now. So you use your senses and you're just being aware. And sometimes it can be hard to have mindfulness. Um, for example, if you're scared or sad mm -hmm. or angry or even jealous, you might get distracted from focusing on what's right in front of you. Are you ready to get started, Steph? Yes, I'm ready. I can't see you, but I hear you. <laughs> so I'm ready. So let's sing our welcome song. Ready? I'm ready. Clap everybody and say hello, clap everybody and say hello, clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Stomp everybody and say hello, stomp everybody and say hello, stomp everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Wiggle. Wiggle everybody and say hello, wiggle everybody and say hello, wiggle everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Take a seat and fold your hands. Take a seat and fold your hands. Take a seat and fold your hands. Let's get ready for a story. <laughs> and today, Miss Ophelia is going to read a wonderful book for us. Yes, I have a book for you today. And it's all about mindfulness. It's called I Am Peace, A Book of Mindfulness. And it's by Susan Verdi, but the art is by Peter H. Reynolds. And when we open our book here, we can see that it's published by Abrams Books for Young Readers in New York. There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before. I can understand that. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water and I feel like a boat with no anchor. Being carried away, oh no kind of feel out of control. I give myself a moment, I take a breath, and then I tell myself, it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and steady myself. And start uh, to notice the here and the now. My thoughts begin to settle, my mind begins to clear. I am peace. I can watch my worries gently pop and disappear. I let things go. Sometimes that can be very hard. I can say what I feel inside out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. He dropped a seed, didn't he? Let's see what happens. Oh, he did make a difference. I can hug a tree and thank it for its beauty and strength. I connect to nature. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. I can taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune into me. 
Now the water is still. I have found my anchor and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I am in this moment. I am peace. Now I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away by those who need it. And I dream, we are peace. The end. Wow, I feel peaceful after listening to you read that book. That was a lovely book, wasn't that it? That really was. Mm -hmm. I think there are a couple in that series. There's the I Am Peace mm -hmm. and I Am Love. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the other one. But there are great um, books in our nonfiction section. Yes. So, now it's time for everybody's favorite part of Sensory Story Time. Show, Show and tell! <laughs> okay. So, for show and tell, you can do this at home with us today. So, Ms. Avila, yes. I need you to get your favorite stuffed animal. Mine Luck is a bear. Luckily, mine is right here. It's a rabbit. Okay, so this is what a we're going to do. Very soft rabbit. This is a way that you can practice mindfulness if you are at home and you get frustrated or mad or sad or jealous or any of those feelings that require you to settle down and just be in the moment. So take your stuffy and put him on your belly so that he's looking right in your face. And what you want to do is when you breathe in and out, you're going to watch the air in your belly rise. And that's going to make the stuffy on your belly rise. So, ideally, you would do this laying down. Now, I feel like I can't really lay down in this form, so we're having to do it sitting up. But if I were laying down, I would see this bear moving up and down as I take breaths in. Because when you want to breathe deeply and practice mindfulness, you want to breathe in and fill your belly up with air. Make it real fat and round and go. <coughs> and then when you breathe out, you empty your belly at that breath. And that is what makes your stuffy rise and fall. And if you do that and count to 10, you can kind of focus on your stuffy rising and falling against your belly and it helps you focus. You count one on the inhale, two on the exhale, three on the inhale, four on the exhale, until you get to ten, and then you can start all over. Awesome. Another thing you can do, sometimes when I lay down to start trying to be mindful and breathe, I have a hard time concentrating. My head just wants to keep thinking about things and it won't let things go. So then what you can do is count your inhales, how long it takes to breathe in, and then try to make your exhales longer. So for example, let's breathe in for a count of three, ready? Now we're gonna breathe out for a count of five. This is a really good way to concentrate your, on your breathing. It's also a good way to calm down. When your exhales are longer than your inhales, it helps you calm down. I like I, that kind of breathing. Yeah, <laughs> that is great advice. Okay, so we are going to share with you an activity that you can do at home. Mm -hmm. um, besides buddy breathing, which is what we just did. This is something you can do with your whole family, um, is go on a noticing walk. And what that means is being mindful in the moment of your walk and noticing what's around you. So one way that you could go to a successful noticing walk is to maybe hold hands with your adult and don't talk. Be real quiet and just listen. Listen to all the sounds that you hear. Maybe you hear a bird chirping. What else might you hear? Bugs. Bugs? A lawnmower? Maybe a wind in the grass. True. Maybe if you're real quiet, you can hear a bee buzzing. That would be cool. So, next time you have a few minutes, decide to go on a walk with your adult and just 
notice. Notice all the things that you hear and maybe you want to make a list. Maybe you want to make a list in your head or you want to write it down. It's up to you. But when you're on this walk, make sure to take a picture of yourself and post it in the comments of this video so that we can see you on your walk and tell us all the things that you noticed on your walk. That would be really, really cool for us. Yeah. <laughs> so, do we have any announcements? Well, we do want to let you know that our next sensory story time is going to be the first Saturday in October, which is October 3rd, and that video will be posted right here at 10 a.m. on at Smith Public Library on Facebook. Yeah. And make sure to join us on our Facebook page if you haven't subscribed to it or liked it already. We have all kinds of videos and special things going on. Maybe you're old enough that you want to be in one of our book clubs. We have book clubs for every age. Um, and we have all kinds of story times. If you have siblings who um, want to watch our story times, we have that on there. And So make sure that you watch all those videos. That would be really cool. Um, I think it's time for our goodbye song. I'm just afraid it is. I'm going to say goodbye with my bear stuffy. I have my little bunny in my lap. So. Yeah. All right. Ready? Ready. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss. Jelly. Jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave, Wave goodbye, goodbye, butterfly. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month.